Firefighters in California are really trained to handle some of the most intense conditions imaginable, but at times, low visi visibility or dangerous conditions can ground the air assault. That's the most effective tool at fighting wildfires by far. But now NASA is helping expand the window of time that crews have to respond to a major incident. On this hot day, researchers performed their first wildfire test flight missions using new airspace management technology. It is potentially life-saving tech that is years in the making. And they brought our Mary Lee along for the ride. Can uh, find out just more if you want. Here in the beautiful Salinas foothills, NASA researchers have turned this private land into their very own live experiment. Their mission, helping crews fight fires from the air both day and night, sending all types of aircraft in the sky 24-7. Because right now, pilots can't fly at night or in heavy smoke. It's something that I, I've spent years talking to firefighters from different agencies about, and it's just really exciting to actually, you know, see the drones take off and then see the real live display, uh, not simulated data, but like the actual live location of all those pieces being tracked in our system. Taking me along for the ride, we drove up rugged terrain to get to the launch site. This is where we found more NASA researchers here in this remote area. They purposely picked this spot because of the hills, vegetation and weak cell service. I'll uh, just put the batteries on and then I'll uh, come back for the RC. This is where we met Jonas Janssen. He's the mission manager for NASA's test mission here. We have ground station operator here, so it's going to then take over the control of the aircraft and fly the flight plan, which we have scattered out there. So it's a lawnmower pattern and going back and forth ac across the hillside. And the purpose is to simulate a prescribed burn. NASA is testing its portable aircraft management system, or PAMS, to make sure drones and remotely piloted aircraft stay inside their approved flight paths, wildfire operation zones, and of course, avoid any collisions in the air. By first making sure their aircraft communication runs smoothly, they can then safely deploy all aircraft at night or in heavy smoke, something they could never do before. Extending the time crews can fight fires is crucial and can make all the difference in stopping a wildfire from getting out of control. This project is super personal to me. Just I grew up in Southern California. I've been evacuated. I, live, I lived in the canyon that every year you get fires. And so being able to help with this project and help our end users is really kind of just a dream come true. It's a real good motivation for in the morning when you get up uh, at 5 a.m. or something to head out and do the flight test you know that you're doing it for a good cause. For NASA researchers, they say this mission is not just rewarding, but brings them one step closer to reality. They hope fire crews can start using their new technology out in the field soon. Researchers will use data from the, the flight tests to refine the airspace management system. The project is managed at NASA's Ames Research Center at Moffett Field.